All right, today we're going to demonstrate uh, a dual vortice in the water. It's very unique, it's very novel because this vortice energy uh, tends to be, re it, it rejuvenates its own energy. It, car it carries its own energy across, uh, across the pool. So all you need for this kind of a demonstration is a very calm uh, water basin. Long is, is, best, uh, is best scenario, but you can use a standard swimming pool as well. The only other thing you'll need is you'll need a flat surfaced uh, piece of material. I'm using a cutting board and that works quite well as, as this kind of an application. What The whole premise of this is to put the, put the cutting board into the water, push it forward and then lift it out almost as if it's a blade in the water. So you, want to, you don't want to disrupt the water surface whatsoever and it generates the best possible vortex. Uh, Quentin's going to be assisting me with uh, some underwater camera work as well. So you'll be able to see the vortex not just from the surface but also from underneath as well. Here we go, let's see how this works. All right, so I'm gonna grab the top camera. It's already going across. And Quentin's gonna show you what it looks like as well. You can see the shadow against the surface um, of the bottom of the pool. That shows you the, the vortex. What's really novel about Vortex technology is that it's a laminar function. It, it, it continuously runs as long as it has a partner uh, uh, to, to transfer its energy to and from. So there is a loop of energy, uh, rotational flow energy. Slide down this way, Quentin, follow it. Did you get any of the, uh, take a look at the bottom down there and the bottom too, so spin your camera down. So you can see that you can see the shadow of the energy against the bottom of the pool. And so each of these vortexes has a very uh, novel and complex flow function that are uh, they are actually connected. There there's there is a bit of a straw of a straw of flow, uh, high velocity flow. And that continues. All right, slow down. You're making some ripples that might disrupt them. I've had these I've had these kinds of vortex flows last uh, as long as 20 minutes. Uh, it kind of depends on how cool or how how calm the pool is. The calmer the pool, the more likely it'll last for a long time. Any kind of ripples or flows or eddies that uh, that it runs into are disruptive, so it'll actually cause harm to the vortex. And they're still quite happy to be spinning there. You can see the flow of uh, see the flow of water in the actual shadow. It's pretty interesting. They 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 are counter rotating, so uh, they're not rotating the same direction. One is rotating one direction, the other is roti rotating another direction. But they're still quite alive down there. Kind of going into the shadow of one of the palm trees, so it's hard to see, but you might be able to see it easier from the from the actual top side. Any other type of flow uh, in water typically has very, very high resistance. So in this kind of a scenario, the resistance actually of its continued flow is, is relatively low. That's what allowed that simple small push that I used at the other end of the pool uh, to actually generate this amount of energy and to create a continuous spin. It's, you know, I, I imparted very little amounts of, of total energy into that, into that flat surface, but that flat surface by virtue of it going into the water and, re and being removed from the water allows those vortexes to stay just absolutely pristine. Pretty interesting, I think. One of the really cool sides to that is, is just how well uh, the, the vortexes actually opaque the light and thus the, the uh, kind of the dark eye looking at the bottom and there's also a really neat rainbow around its around its rim. 
they're just about out of energy. We're, we've come into a little bit of, uh, there's a little bit of um, shallow area um, ripples and stuff, and that's going to that's gonna actually damage them, and they're actually getting further apart. As soon as, soon as the two vortexes separate, because the ribbon that connects them uh, is disrupted, as soon as that happens, they die immediately. So we'll watch them here. They're probably going to die in just a, a little bit. really slowing down the one at the top side I can see it actually slowing down quite a bit and as soon as they are disrupted as soon as that that connection is disrupted they they absolutely will just they will go away there you can see this one just fell apart very interesting it had a little bit of a ripple that it imparted some energy into it and it almost died up oh, and there it went you saw the top one die and now the second this bottom one's gonna die as well unless it can regenerate somehow it's still going <laughs> it's amazing and I think that's about all she wrote anyway and Kurt giving you a little pool science wait for the camera <laughs> see ya